Algebra word problems number 11D, write, solve, multi-step problems. We're going to remove sales tax. So remember, a multi-step problem will contain more than one operation. And there's two rules. We're going to do addition or subtraction first. So if a number is added or subtracted in the expression or equation, we're going to do that first. And then if there's multiplication or division, we're going to do that last. See, if the variable is multiplied by a number, we're going to divide each side of the equation by that number. And if the variable is divided by that number, we're going to multiply. We're going to do the inverses, right? So any inverse operation done on one side of the equation must be exactly the same operation as on the other side. So remember, we need to maintain our balance. We don't want the scale to tip one way more than the other, all right? So here's our sales tax problem. Emma bought a new bed that cost her $630.70. That's the total price when she walked out the door. That was after the sales tax was added on, okay? What was the price of the bed before the tax? So what was the original price of the bed on the tag, okay? So we need to think. We need to remove that 6% tax. Now remember, that's 6 parts of 100, and we can write it as 0 .06 because it's 6 parts of 100. It's 6 hundredths. We need to remove that from the 630 and 70 cents, whatever that 6% sales tax amount was, okay? So we're going to let P equal the price, the bed's original price on the price tag. So think price tag, okay? But we need the original price to know what the tax was. The tax depended on the original price. Now we can't just multiply this by the tax and then subtract whatever the amount it was that we get from the multiplication and subtract it from that. We can't do that. That won't work, okay? But we need to come up with an equation to make it work. So we think we need the price of the bed. Let me take this off. We need the price of the bed. Then we need to take the price of the bed and multiply it by the 0 .06 to get whatever the sales tax is. Then we need to get that amount and add it to the price of the bed to get the total. Okay, because that's the way it works. We have our, our thing that we're buying and then the amount of the sales tax, which is based on the amount of the thing we're buying, and then we get a total. So we have to simplify this. We've got P plus our sales tax percentage of 0 0.06, and we need to multiply that by, by the price, P. So that gives us 1P plus 0 0.06P. Okay, because remember, there's a 1 in front of all of the variables that are standing alone, right? We just don't write them. So now we've got 1p plus 0 0.06 times p. Well, to simplify that, that gives us 1.06p. We have to add the 1 to the point, the point zero 0.06, see? So now, knowing that the 1.06p means multiply it by p, okay, because we need to multiply it by the sales tax percentage to get the amount of sales tax, we need to divide because that's the opposite of multiplication. So we're going to divide both sides by 1.06 to get that P isolated to stand alone, okay? And when we do divide $630.70 by $1.06, remember we have to move the decimal point over when we're dividing with decimals. That means we have to move the decimal point over in the dividend also, and it goes straight up, all right? When I do the division, I come up with $595. So I know the price of the bed was $595. Now, if I wanted to know the price of the sales tax, I could just subtract the $595 from the final price of $630.70. I know she paid $35.70 in tax. Now, I could add these together, and if it comes back to the $630.70, I know I did it right. Or I could multiply the $595 times 1.06, and I could get the $630.70. To know I did it right. Now, if you're still confused and you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me keep explaining. Would you think of it this way? The 1p plus 0 0.06 is really multiplied by another 1p. See that? When we began to simplify our equation, there was 1p, all right? It was just written as a p, but it was really 1p. And we don't usually put the 1 in front of the variable, but we do still need to remember that it is there. Okay, so 1p and 1p are like terms. If you don't remember how to do like terms, you can go back to my video number 4a. I, 
I explained combining like terms in that video and it might really help you, okay? All right, so now we've got one price of the bed plus 0 0.06 times that price of the bed. And when we simplified it, we added the one to the 0 0.06 and got 1.06. Now, after all this, I still had a student say to me, I still don't understand why I can, can't just multiply 0 0.06 times the 630.70 and get that $35.70 of the tax. Why can't I just multiply that by the 0 0.06 and get the $35.70 tax? And I said, because it won't work. It just won't work. And so here's my explanation. When we buy something and we pay tax on it, the tax is based on the cost of that thing, the price tag, okay? So we can't just multiply the final total by the, by the uh, tax decimal point and then subtract that amount, like, you know, $35 from the 630. It won't work. It'll be more. So here's an example. We have a shirt that costs $20, okay? So here's our $20 shirt, and there's a 6% sales tax. We need to add that to the shirt, right? So to find out what the tax is, we have to multiply the $20 times 0 0.06. I come up with $1.20 in sales tax. All right, so now we need to add this $1.20 to the cost of the shirt, and we get $21.20 before we can walk out the door with that in a bag, right? That's our final, all right? Now, let's say we've got the $21.20, and we want to find out what the tax was on it. So we're going to try just multiplying that by 0 0.06. But when we do, we come up with 1.272. Well, that's a lot bigger than 1.20. What happened? Well, when we multiplied the $20 by the 0 0.06, we were multiplying $20. Now when we're doing it, we're multiplying 21.20. It's a bigger number. So of course we're going to get a bigger product. See? And if we deduct this amount from the 21.20, it's going to come out as $19.928 for the shirt. See, it didn't work. You can't just do that. You're starting out with a bigger number. It's going to have a bigger amount of tax. So what we do is we need to divide by 1.06 to get the original price of the shirt, $20. If we have $21.20 and we divide by the 106, again, we move the decimal places over, so it went back here, and we put the 106 into 212, see, because it fits into 212, two times. 106 plus 106 is 212. So we got a zero. And then we could even dr say, okay, yeah, we had to drop the other zero down, but it's still zero. And it goes into it zero times, so that gave us two zero point. So we know that's like $20, right? So try it yourself. Add one to the tax amount decimal and then divide the final price by it. Pick something that you bought whether it was a, a shirt or a pair of jeans or your TV or whatever it was that you bought, figure out what the original price tag on it was, figure out what your county or, you know, state sales tax is, and uh, then whatever the percentage of sales tax is, 5%, 5 percent, five and a half, five and three quarters, six, whatever it is, these are the decimal points that would represent the sales tax if you want to multiply. Like six and three quarters would be 0 0.06 with a seven five at the end of it, see, for the three fourths. And six and a half would be 0 0.06 with a five after it to represent the half, see? And then put a one in front of these and then divide into your final amount, the amount that had the tax included on it, the total before you walked out the door. Divide that with a one in front of your state sales tax into your final out the door price and I bet you anything you're gonna come back to the original price tag on the tag, okay? Now anytime you're doing a math problem and it says remove the sales tax, remember this trick. Whatever the sales tax percentage is, put a one in front of the decimal point and you're gonna be able to find the original price. So I'm really excited that I could show you this. I'm sorry the video was so long, but it's going to help you for the rest of your life to be able to take off sales tax. Just add a 1 in front of the decimal point and then divide, okay? See you next video. Bye.